G'day viewers, my name is Michael and welcome to Single Racer. And when I got up this morning, I got two pleasant surprises. One for me personally, and possibly one for you. And that's because if you've ever wanted one of the paid mods from the best studio for Assetto Corsa, and that's Racim Studio, I found out this morning that they're having a 50% off Black Friday sale, but they're having it for the whole of this week. So I'll show you that here. Here's the information here. So if you visit their website and you wanted one of their cars, now is the best time to get it. But the other reason that I got a pleasant surprise is that I personally got this car here. And this is called the GTM Lanzo V10. And the reason I got a pleasant surprise is because this is a sister car to the other GTM car, the GTM Bayro or the BMW as you might know it. And um, it was totally free and that's because I already had purchased the Bayro. Now, uh, the normal practice for Racing Studio is if they bring out a new car, now I must admit I forgot to check the uh, just before making this video, but usually they don't discount the brand new car but all the other cars should be 50% off and not only the other cars but the other car packs because this is also a sister car to the other Lanzo that's part of the GT pack and a superb car pack uh, and that one's a V12 whereas this is a V10 and I don't know if it's my imagination because of that those big two air scoops at the front but I'm sure this nose is a lot shorter or just looks a lot shorter than the other um, Lanzo but absolutely superb as we we look at the uh, the aero uh, gills there and the uh, the jet black tires or rim I should say but the rest of the car looks pretty much the same I'm losing a bit of uh, um, a VR contact there when spinning around but let's now sit down if I can it's always a, a battle to find my seat sorry bear with me and let's have a look on the inside here and what I'll do is I'll move over because I, I just moved the VR there to to get my bearings and that's it and let's have a look at this wheel now uh, very very detailed and I couldn't believe that I got this for free absolutely immaculate detail and uh, it's supposed to have a few cameras around so we might try that in the external camera replay but absolutely beautiful car so I'm here on Mugello so I figured let's now take it for a few hot laps of Mugello this is the RSS GTM uh, Lanzo V10 Okay folks, so let's see how this beautiful car handles as we head off and we're off. And what an awesome sound to start off with, but the uh, Lanzo was always a great sounding car from the other GT pack. Uh, I believe it was uh, Sim Racing 604's favourite car. Uh, I don't know uh, sound wise, but definitely his favourite car uh, in the group. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it easy and just sort of see, try and sense how the car handles. Uh, just sort of cruise into the corner. If I, <laughs> so much for the cruising into the corner. Uh, she definitely wants to understeer. Uh, I could have just gone in a bit too hot, so we'll we'll kind of see. Quite often it's just how you apply the accelerator sort of gives you a good sense. Oh, she's definitely squirmy, that's for sure. Uh, doesn't feel all that stable. Let's see if I can carry forth here. No, oh, gee, she's definitely uh, understeering. It's got an understeering nature here. 
Oh, gee. I get the feeling like she doesn't like to change direction quickly. Let's see here. Can I hold it? Oh, no, gee. Just a struggle. Oh, she almost feels kind of heavy. It's strange because, well, oh, even there, see, just changing direction and I think with the squirminess and the understeer, it's sort of a bit all over the place. So, uh, not the best start, but we'll give it another lap and try and get a, 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 a sense of how she handles. Oh, yeah, she just wants to push. It's what it is, it's that kind of sense that when you get some cars, when you get on the accelerator too early, they just have a natural tendency to push out. They don't bite or change direction very well. And uh, this car kind of feels a bit squirmy as well, which isn't helping. So let's try it here. It's a little bit better. See, no, it's just a natural tendency to want to, as soon as you get on the accelerator, she wants to push out. So uh, I might have to adjust my driving style a bit, I think. Let's uh, just keep going and see how we go. The, the, I think I've selected the wrong track. The gearing just doesn't feel right for this track. It's always here is like, do I hold it or do I change down? It's like that weird thing where every gear is wrong in, in right in the middle of the corner or in the middle of the apex. It's it's a strange feeling, so I try and go, oh, and there she goes. No, 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 definitely, definitely, definitely uh, a squirmy understeering car. So, all right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll try one more lap. It's a technique, you know, often you have to adjust. See, oh, gee, even just there, just getting on the power. So, it's that thing of where if you get on the power too early, the car naturally wants to understeer. See, even look there, like, just, it just hasn't like changing direction. So, all right, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a technique then that I usually do where, because I drive slow in fast out, but it, I add a pause. So let's try it here. So I turn in, but now pause until she bites. Now, and now accelerate. So it's, it's a slower technique but it's a more stable technique. You don't, you're not as fast as an alien who's got the ultimate control, but at least you get the turning. So what I'll try and do is I'll try and trail break and then put a pause in. So let's try it here. So sort of trail break into the corner, put the pause before I hit the accelerator. See, it wants to push out. Now it bites and now you accelerate. So you get that turn in. So pause, and now accelerate. It, it just helps helps it change direction by allowing that sort of second or two to change direction. Pause and now accelerate. That's it. All right. That's the way this car seems to be have or seems to need to be driven well. So I'll try it here. Change down. Now accelerate. That's it. So you let it change direction first before you start pushing on the accelerator. I'll try it here and try better through here. So pause, pause, now accelerate, that's it. Definitely the style you need to drive this car well. This is a much better lap, and it's just allowing the tires to bite before you push the t car out, or get on the power early. So let me just try one more time here. Sort of trail braking into the corner. It's gonna push out, but now wait for it to bite. And now accelerate, that's much better. Okay, so I think we'll call this uh, the best lap. I'll try it again. Hold it, hold it, hold it. See, she wants to understeer, definitely. So that's that's not the best, but I think we're gonna have to call it because uh, I, I'm gonna have to uh, do a few more laps with this car to, to really get dialed in. Uh, but she's a beautiful car. She just needs to be driven in a certain way. And I love the engine sound. They've really improved all the, the gearing sounds, the mechanical noise and everything. So 
Uh, so yeah, I'll definitely do another video uh, in with this car in more detail. So this is Michael signing out for Single Race. I'll catch you next time as we have a look at this interesting sticker on the wheel. Okay, see you later. Oh, my God.